I have the most annoying hair problem in the world and I feel like I'm not the only one. So I wanted to share this with you guys. The back of my head, all the time, no matter if I do my hair straight, curly, whatever, the part just splits. And I know like the part, whatever, it goes all the way back here, but no, mine splits all the way down to the crown. I absolutely hate how it looks. I always end up with my hair in a ponytail or a messy bun because I have that split there. And I'm so self-conscious about it. And I was like, you know what? I wanna enjoy having my hair down. My hair's longer now. I wanna enjoy having it down. And I don't wanna worry about that split. So I decided to figure out how to get rid of this annoying, annoying problem once and for all. And I figured it out. And honestly, it's so easy that I feel a little ridiculous for not knowing this up until now, but really I never had this until I became an adult. Like when I was younger, I never had that problem. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys today how I fixed that split and how you can too. There is hope. So what you wanna do is actually grab the hair at the crown of the head where it's splitting. So usually it's like just about over here. This is where my hair is splitting and this is where the problem is. So it's usually just about this much. And once I have my hair, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hairspray. Today I'm using the Joyco Joy Mist. Is that what it's called? Joy Mist Firm Hairspray. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit on either side of that piece. Just gonna let it sit for a minute, let it dry, keep it up there. I'm gonna go in with my flat iron next, but you don't wanna put your flat iron right on hair that you just sprayed because that's just gonna completely fry it. Once the hairspray is dry, I'm gonna go in with a flat iron. So my hair is curly, so I don't wanna flat iron the whole thing, but I'm just gonna grab it from the side like this and maybe go an inch or two up and do that one more time. So I'm just gonna leave my hair like this until it cools. You know when you curl your hair and you have to hold the curl until it's cool so that it actually stays in your hair? Yeah, same thing. So I'm just gonna hold this until it cools, just so I know it's really setting properly. And then I'm gonna go in with a comb and just slightly back comb that. I don't wanna back comb it too much. We don't wanna look like we have a bump it in our hair. Just back comb it a little bit and then just smooth it out with my fingers. And then you can add a little more hairspray if you just wanna make sure it's gonna hold in that position. And once you're done, that split in the back of your head should be completely covered. I love how I said I had curly hair in the beginning of this video and it completely fell flat by the end. At least the front is still a little bit curly, but the back is pretty flat. That's okay though, as long as you guys got the tip of how to do this. I'm so excited that I found this because honestly, now I can wear my hair down confidently and that's all I really wanted. But I still do have trouble curling the back of my head, so if you guys have any tips of how to successfully curl the back of your head, because I don't know why, I just can't do it. Maybe it's my T-Rex arms, I can't get back there, I don't know, but I can never curl the back of my head. So any hairdressers out there, anybody that's really good at hair, please give me some tips of how to make sure my hair is curly all around. I just want that nice beachy wavy look, but the back always falls flat. Anyways, that's it for me today. This is a pretty short and sweet video, but if there's anything else you wanna see, let me know down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I try to upload as often as possible. Usually it's like once a week. But anyways, until next time, I'll see you guys later.